mold. Especially because most homes are made with like drywall and things like that. Mm -hmm. So they probably have to change it out all the time. I know, I need to put some bathroom mold from getting all the drywall. Because they make them so cheap. It's literally just like cardboard. Well, it's because I never finished the bathtub the bathroom. You know what I want if I ever buy like buy a new house or move or whatever? Is I want a walk-in tub. Oh, that would be so nice. Like an old person. Me too. I think they think they're so cool. <laughs> but you know, tubs in general are really good for your health. Like hot water and things like that. It has a lot of healing properties. Well, see, and, that, and that's one of the, um, and the same bathroom that I'm talking about. I did have a tub there. I do have a tub and, and it has dents and all that. Mm -hmm. But when my son used to come home, he'd mess with the wires and the motor. Oh, so Ernie has to fix it. Yeah, so I, gotta, I think all I would have to do is get another motor. Maybe. That's the only thing that's wrong with the motor. Um, anything, uh, everything else. Because right? if you want like a, a, a tub on the cheaper end, it's about two grand now. I saw them on Amazon. What about eggs? Oh god, <laughs> that's really expensive. Uh, should I buy some chickens? Should I invest in chickens? <laughs> I think that's what we need to do. And should I? We have some more soap <clears throat> music. Ooh. It says should I have dry and wet seasons, no snow. So I would want to go during the dry season, and when it's not so hot. Oh, because I can't stand humidity. Me too. It's so crazy. And especially with my hair, my hair freezes out. <laughs> like, I go. Uh, and my hair feels like so greasy, like after a day or two. Oh, I can't. That's the nice thing about living here is that, you know, I think that's the only nice thing about living here is the dry weather. Yeah. So like, you don't have to worry about your makeup running or your like hair getting all messed up or anything like that because it's... It's dry that's as a bone. I, that's why I try and really don't put too much makeup because I know it gets so hot in the summer. And it just starts to melt. I like to go places that are inside. <laughs> AC please? Yeah. Like my sister, she does all the football stuff with the boys and stuff like that. In the summer? Yes. And it's hot. One time I went, me and my dad, and we didn't have no umbrella or nothing. <gasps> <laughs> we were dying and I was like, I think that was like the last time I went to another game. You're like, I'm never going to come here again. <laughs> I got to do this way. You're like, I'm going to pray for you guys in spirit. I know. So we're using clear bubblegum gel today to adhere the nails. And we press down firmly to make sure there's no bubbles. And this is such a game changer, you guys, because it is vegan, hypoallergenic, and chemo free So now we're going to bake this for... One, actually no, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Inside the lamp, my dear. Have you tried the pistachio coffee at Starbucks? Mm-hmm. These are pretty good. I haven't tried it yet. My mom wants to try it. She's been talking about it actually a lot. Pistachio coffee? Mm -hmm. But I hope it's not bitter. Was it 30 already? Oh, Almost. <laughs> The only good thing about humidity is that you don't need any like lotion. And your plants grow more. Okay, now you can take it out. We're gonna do a thin coat of shiny gel on the and inside. So dry, like mine turns white, like chalky almost. Yes, and then I have a habit of jumping in the hottest water. Do you get dandruff? No. I do. I really don't get that. But I like my water scolding. See me too. And they say hot water is not so good for you, but uh, it mean, feels amazing. Yeah, I know. I was doing that, especially when your back hurts or your bones hurt. What well, I've noticed though, since I put it really hot, I've been getting like a little bit of a rush on my back. But, you know, because you know how when you're just too dry. Mm hmm. And then I don't really like it's so hard to put lotion on your back. <laughs> we'll have Ernie do it. Or uh, put it in there for one minute and Riketta. Have, have baby Ernie do it. That's what it feels like And I have. I have to go lay down. Get some cocoa butter or something like that, something really rich. Uh-huh. I wish they had like a stick. <laughs> I told my cousin that she should come to Mexico too and she was like, what are we gonna do? And I was like, I don't know. Nothing. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Go party. You got any cousin in class? Yes, we are the ones that um, we used to play the most we when together. we were kids. I have and a really cousin, close man. Me and my cousin Stephanie. She's uh, she was the one that was raised with uh, Henrietta, the big Henrietta. Oh really? Yeah. But you know what? That's so funny because I was just talking about it too. Because like me and Andrea, like like when we chill or something like that, mm -hmm. or like even even my other 
like family. We, it's like when we get together, it's like we've never been apart, you know? Like Always we start together. laughing and joking. And that's one thing about my the girls, the women in my family, they clown. <laughs> they, you know. You guys are cool. Yeah, and you know, we, we know we'll clown on the husbands, we clown on the kids. <laughs> Just spill, you know, have a kiki. Yeah. You spill know. the tea. And me and her, while we grew up like that, we're, we're only a year apart. But they raised us like sisters, me, her, and my cousin Peter. He's another one. He's like a, like a year younger than me. Uh huh. And we all went to the same preschool. The you know. This. But that. But my my cousin Peter. That was my Nana Carmen's favorite child. <laughs> Nana Carmen. Peter. Was it because he was a boy? Yes. And because she's the one that raised them all. Look at that, you guys. Isn't this so seamless? How long did it take to apply the nail tech? Five minutes, probably, huh? So now all we do is we just very gently tailor them to fit like a glove. So I'm just going to make sure there's no product stuck to the sides. Very gently refining everything. And then we're going to blend the cuticle in and then we're pretty much done. All you have to do is then the design part. I'm going to be using Magic Syrup 138 today which is a really pretty heavy glitter color moment. I love this length too, it's not too long and not too short. Because then I learned how to hold a cigarette with one hand. <laughs> really? Yeah. You need like from like the twenties, like those flapper girls that had those things to uh, smoke. Six, yes. Yeah, Did you ever dress up for Halloween as an adult, like to go out or something? <laughs> no. I've always wanted to, but I've never been invited to any Halloween parties. But anyone's gonna have any this year? Why don't we make that? Because that's expensive. <laughs> no. You want to do it big? You want to go all out? You don't want to do it all tough. Small. I probably have, but there's probably places you can go to have like their throwing parties. Oh yeah, I think like 4th Avenue or downtown or something like that. But then it's dark and then people can't see your costume. <laughs> I know. We're going to use the power top bit today and we're going to begin to blend in the cuticle area ever so gently. We want to make sure that there is no product between the skin and the nail. So that way, when we turn the nail over to the side, it's really, really seamless. Look at that, so blended. It looks just like a nail. And then when it grows out, it grows out really beautifully. We have to. Are you gonna have a big baby shower? Or? Um, it's pretty much close family. Close like her, her baby daddy's family, the mom, and all that. They got aunts and stuff. So funny because the way their aunts and family kind of reminds me of my mom and stuff. But they're like real like church people. So. Oh, really? From his side? Yeah. Uh, they, you know that one church on uh, 12th and Eagles? What, is it Jehovah's Witness Center? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. The okay, CE is right there. And it's right the street across. Oh, I think it's a Christian church, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, her baby that's like that. Oh, really? So they have a ministry? Yeah. Wow. So they're very church people. Oh, God, yeah. You know, they don't like it. And what do they think of Irene when they saw her? They're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> no, they don't really take care of her. They embraced her. Yeah, they did. She's been around them for a lot of years now. I don't know good people. Some people are good people. Let me make sure everything is really seamless. Look at that. Beautiful. Like now, especially since I go out now, you know, and mm -hmm. do parties, like I'm starting to get to know people. Didn't you know them already, like prior? Yeah, but I was like, I would stay to myself. I would never go out. Like, honestly, this is like me really like being out more than I used to. Before, mm -hmm. I would just want to stay home. Well, after it happened? After that, maybe before that, honestly. Really? Yeah, my anxiety used to get to me real bad, being in public with people and stuff like that. Really? It started off at, at the casino. That's when I started getting like the real bad problems and stuff. Stress and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I, I, got, I used to get bad to the point to where like I couldn't even talk. Wow, from just being around people all the time, or yeah, and plus too, I think I needed like my meds, you know, mm -hmm. stuff, you know, like straightened out and stuff like that. And now they help me out with the, you know, like they give me this thing called Seroquel, it's like a mood stabilizer, and it helps me where I feel comfortable, you know. Really? Yeah, before I wouldn't like feel comfortable at parties, and nothing. Yeah, psychosomatic drugs are no joke, and it takes a while in order to find the right one and the right, you know, chemical balance yeah. that's going to work for you because it looks different. Thing, my thing was is that 
deeply a problem for me. Mm -hmm. But as a, as my doctors had me on high doses of meds, high doses. So you were always like out of it almost. Mm -hmm. and, like I was like, oh, I'm on the end, like a real high dose of by the by the time the end before I stopped doing all that stuff, like I went cold turkey. I learned about um, psychosomatic medication because one of the girls that used to work for me, when I had a nail salon actually, her husband was manic depressive, bipolar, and schizophrenic. I'm just bipolar. <laughs> so I learned, I didn't learn a lot, but like she would like, uh, you know, give me insights about the medication and, you know, even her husband, like his, his cocktail or his stack of, of pills was not the best. Yeah. Oh, and taking like broccoli. A whole bunch of stuff. Like that. Uh, he even tried lithium. That's uh, for a mood stabilizer, isn't it? Or? Yeah, but it affected me in a bad way. Ooh. Like, it, it started making me, like, I literally had so much in my system that I started not recognizing my house. Not recognizing, like, even when Ernie brought me home, I did not recognize my house. Wow. Yeah, but, it, but the reason why I went to the doctor was because I was having, like, like I was seeing stuff. I was, like... Hallucinating. Yeah, I was seeing, like, shadows coming, like, at me. Oh my gosh. Like, yeah, Ernie tried to take me outside one time. He, at that, that day, he tried to take me out, you know, to like get me relaxed. But being in the dark heightened it more. <laughs> and, then, and he had the water and he was watering outside. And when he like put the water like towards me, I freaked out. Oh my gosh. It's almost like it made you like paranoid. I felt like I was in a scary movie. I really did. I felt like the was down to Like that's cool and scary at the same yeah, time. But I was there in the room and I'm seeing sh like shadows like coming in. I was like screaming. Like, cause I was like. Like it was freaking me out. You're like Freddy Krueger's gonna come for me. Yeah. Do you still have any of those pills left? No, God, no. I tell no. I tell them I'm allergic to it. So that way they never give me that again. That sounds exciting and scary at the yeah, same time. It took a while to finally get out of my system. Like I said, when Ernie was bringing me home, like I didn't even recognize my own house. Wow. But you know, one of my um, one of my models, she was telling me that her cousin had um, not syph, something with an S, not but it's not syphilis. So roast? I don't can't remember what it is. But she was telling me that, you know, the medication they put her on, like she was tripping, like she was like, the Russians are here to get me and this and that. And I was like, wow. It gets, it gets that bad. Like some people it gets that bad. Like with me, I finally found that actually okay, they got me on several different articles, but I don't take them. What I only want to take is the cereal because the cereal is the only one that helps me out. And that and then I make sure I eat and drink water. We're gonna take this for 30 seconds. Yeah, but that was crazy. Like she was telling me she was in the hospital and she was like you need to get me out of here. The Russians are here and they're gonna take they're me. Again. Yeah, for real. It's like she was like really serious, and I was like, that's kind of scary. It is bad like that. Like recently, I had to go over there to the CRT block. And um, the only reason why I had to go because I didn't, I missed my appointment to get my meds. Mm -hmm. And I went to the CRC to get a bridge because they don't, they, they, I guess one of their doctors left, so all the, the appointments were like two months back. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and then I got kind of a little offended though because the guy that I usually do. This is called One Two Three Go. It's our system, and it's made in America, and it's the best thing ever. Take it out, my dear. Yeah. So afterwards, you know, like when I went over there, they gave me a hard time giving me my meds. The stupid um, pharmacist guy said I only had a 30-day script, but I had a 90-day script, and I told the lady because she was telling me that she didn't feel comfortable giving me these pills. I'm like, what do you mean you don't feel, feel comfortable? I've been taking them for a long time. It's in my record. Yeah, I got a 30, a 90 day script. She was like, no, well, you're a pharmacist. Not. And I told her, so I go, now, so what do I got to do? I got to waste gas, drive all the way from Keno, go back to there, get the paperwork that shows you that I've been getting three, uh, three months back and come back. And she's like, yeah. So I had to go do that. I did that, got it. And I showed it. And then the, 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 they were already waiting for me at the pharmacy. And they were ready. Yeah, because when I was telling the girl and I was explaining to him, the doctor comes, oh, yeah, I did that one. And then, I, and then she was, he was like, it's a 30 day. And I'm like, no, it's not. Like, well, looking at it, it's a 90 day. And then he, took, he looked at it. He's like, oh, yeah, it's my fault. I messed up. He was all like that. Yeah, because they don't write out prescriptions anymore like they used to, huh? Mm -hmm, they do. Okay, okay if, you're, if you're taking these regularly, they do 90 day. Mm -hmm. But if it, it's like a short term thing, they only do 30 day. Like, or, or like if it's like pills. Or and it'll say on the bottle, no refills. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I took it back to her, but she didn't even come out, you know? Like, she sent Couldn't somebody else. Right she sent somebody else out. But it was funny though, because when I was there, some guy just started tripping. So it was like that little show. Oh my gosh. At the CRC? Yeah. Is that at the mental health pavilion? Yeah, the crisis response. At Kino? I had a client, well, I yes, I did. Her name, it was a doctor, Papadopoulos. And she would, she would live out of her car. Like, this person was very interesting. 
and uh, she would go there and she would be like, I don't have anywhere to stay, I'm gonna hurt myself. And they were like, you just want somewhere to stay, lady, you can't stay here. Yeah, because a lot of people honestly do that. When they don't have like a home or stuff like that, mm -hmm. a lot of You can take it out now, my dear. No, but that guy acted up pretty Go ahead and put your thumb back in for me. That's right, she already knows what's up. Only okay. the best. But now, but ever since though, they they been giving me that been good. We never had no episodes or never No. Where Freddy Krueger was chasing you? <laughs> no. You know what though? But, but I would get like Take it really up. irritated though when I used to before I got my pills right. And now it's better. Mm -hmm. You really gotta take care of your mental health. You know, a lot of people don't really realize it till they go through it. Till it's too late. Sammy, Sammy, so happy I caught life. Oh, thanks for joining us today, my love. We are discussing mental health today. And it's important. A lot of people don't get that. It's a very taboo subject. Mm -hmm. I think mental. Well, I think mental health is more uh, talked about now than it was before. Well, my dad. Okay, my dad and my mom. They went to special schools, right? Mm -hmm. they were mentally challenged like that. My dad just recently was talking about finding another you know, the tree and stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he used to tell me that he used to get sad because my mom and then they used to tell my mom that like my, my dad's family or something like that. He was, uh, you know, back then. <laughs> that's how they did it back then. Mentally challenged. Yeah, but no, it's not like that now. <laughs> but back in the day, that's what they would say, you know? And my dad used to get so sad because his family would say that about him and stuff. That they even stopped like contact with each other. That's how bad it got. Wow. So, yeah. But I told my dad, I told my dad, like, well, you gotta understand, back then, it's not like the way... It was a different ball game. Yeah. Like, now, you got all the mental health, you know, and, and I'm so glad, you know, that there is that. But my dad, you know, I like, I told him, like, you gotta understand, back in those times, that's how they talked, and that's how they thought, you know? Which is the one that was really popular? Lorazepam? Yeah, I, I used to take that, too. But well, then, now the doctors, though, they, they take you off it. But see, this is the thing that's kind of confusing to me. If you're working, you got to be prescribed for all the pills and things. You know, mm. but once you stop working, like when I started getting food, they just because they try to take you off everything. Really? Like wean you off, or what was or, the point? Well, I don't know. See, that's the thing. Like Maybe that. because it was less stressful. Yeah, but that I think it's because that's when all that stuff came out. Remember when all the pill mill doctors that were doing all that stuff? Uh huh. I think that's when that came out. Not everything just started like all the doctors start wanting to like if they see that you have like any like addictive things or drugs, traits or something, they will take it away. Oh wow. Or like if you're abusing it and over drinking it and stuff, you know. Is this person, this bottle empty? I think I used up all my shine. <laughs> oh no, I still have a little bit left. Like I'm back at that school. The only reason why I think my mom and them were in school too was because my uncle while he was deaf. Uh-huh. He went to the deaf and blind school for a lot of years. Oh, that one's really good though. Mm -hmm. It's a big facility. Yeah, did. We're gonna go ahead and bake that for one minute. Well, that's where they came out with that one school, Howlstein County. And it still is around to this day where it's for mentally, physically challenged kids. Uh huh. Yeah, but it's really scary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my grandmother, she put my uncle into karate so that way he could... He would Burn off that up. energy? <laughs> the energy and he wouldn't get beat up. <laughs> Is there other paper? Oh. Isn't he in his room? So we're gonna use gummy gel to apply the diamonds today. I'm an interpreter for the deaf. Oh, that's really cool! Sign language is so dope. I need a lot of help, Well, Carmen, since she's an expert, you should uh, prescribe her something, Carmen. Yeah. You should be a counselor because you're like very easy to talk to. You should be a counselor. I can see you having working at El Rio. Or what's the other one? Cope? Cope? Frontera. Frontera. I could see you as a like you could be a counselor. 
I love my coffee shop right now. You can have a little business card that says <laughs> Carmela Ortiz. I actually did have a business card at the casino. Really? Yeah, they had like real cards and stuff like that. Carmela Ortiz. Here to help you with Sammy your. Sammy has to say it's beautiful and the culture is so inclusive. For ment uh, mental health, for the deaf, that's really cool. That's what's up. Yeah, and well, that and that that passed through our family a lot too. I had a cousin that had to be uh, institutionalized because she was really not bad at the time. Really. Pretty sure my aunt, you know. She was doing things she shouldn't have. Yeah, she well, you know, and, and the baby. Because I remember meeting her once. I met her at uh, at my house. They let her come home with us one day. Uh huh. And we got to spend like two to three days. With your cousin? Yeah, she, and I was pregnant at the time. I was laughing because her, she was the half of all my other cousins. I and mean, my cousins are like four or five of them right there and stuff. Uh -huh. And it was funny because she smacked them all in the back. Oh my gosh, she was no joke. Yeah, and, and, but when it came to me, because I think she could just feel that I was pregnant. Mm -hmm. um, she was, she took it easy on you? Yeah, she laid her head on my stomach. Aww. What was her name? Uh, Christy? No, 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 no. Cindy. Cindy. Cousin Cindy. Yeah. She's still around too, but I don't think I've ever seen her. You need to go hit her up and make sure she's doing good. Yeah. You need a I good... wonder if they would let me, though. You need to be a good prima. Yeah. I wonder if they would let me. Oops. Is she always older than me? She's like about my cousin's and my age. Oh, really? But yeah, you have to be careful too because a lot of them do have a lot of brute force. Look how pretty that is. We have so many stones, huh? Mm -hmm. Literally, look how much they shine, you guys. And because Carmela, she does so much, we're actually gonna put a coat of Wonder Gel over everything to make sure it stays encapsulated so that way it doesn't tangle while she's out partying. Not only partying, but this is kind of... <laughs> <laughs> For Romeo? Yeah. What are you gonna wear? I don't know. It's gonna be kind of cold. Did you get an invitation? Yeah. Really? <gasps> like a, a printed invitation? Like a piece of paper? Or where'd uh -huh. you get it? I haven't gotten mine. <laughs> I don't think she wants me to go. <laughs> We're gonna bake this for 30 seconds. Go ahead and put it in. How sad. Last year in Edmund, it was so long. Really? It was perfect for the weather. Mm -hmm. With um, the bread and everything? Bolillo. With a little bit of butter, some aunt bread or... Uh, yeah, on what? On bread, that bread. Really? Like spaghetti spaghetti? Mm -hmm. And it was cold spaghetti from yesterday and the day before. Cold or no? No, not cold. It was warmed up, but it came out really good. Really? Like a spaghetti sandwich. I went up on Andrea's other friends. And she made it one day because her baby and his baby are going to school together at preschool. Uh huh. She's been friends with her since like high school. I've never heard of a spaghetti sandwich. Actually, no, I take that back. When I was in New Zealand, they had spaghetti on toast, and I was like, Yeah, the salad. Yeah. She did it like that. She cooked it up, buttered it up, and, and it came out so good. No, the one I had was not very good. It was like, um, what's the canned spaghetti? Mm. Chef YRD? Yeah, spaghetti Yeah, spaghetti. stuff like that. And it was on a piece of like Wonder Bread, and I was like, This is I not. Was, that's what I used to live off of when I was younger. Really? Yeah, because like my mom was making bomb. Like now I think about it, she makes so much bomb food. But I'm such a picky little girl and stuff. You don't remember like taking would, advantage of it. No, I wish I would have now. I think about it now. All <laughs> oh, her recipes. Yeah. You know, sometimes I remember a lot of her recipes just by memory. Really? And back then, like they didn't like measure like, oh, you need a cup of this, a teaspoon of that. Mm -hmm. It was all by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how my mother-in-law still. And I, and I, I thank God I still have my mother-in-law. 
She has. She cooks like that too. Oh God, she cooks. You would love. You would never get out of her house. Really? She's that good of a cook? Yes, she makes a lot, and that's why I learned a lot of my cooking was from her. My mom too. You know, majority of the stuff was my mom too. But my mother-in-law, like, still to this day, I will call her <laughs> and ask her. Yeah, like, I'll ask her, "What do I put in this? What do I put in that?" I'll have Ernie go over there and make her, maybe have her make a list, so that I, you know, know what to get and what to put in. Wow. So she like for like like say like enchiladas like she'll make the sauce and everything yeah, like that to the bag. But Andrea does a little twist to it. She fries the tortillas. Oh, to give it the shape? Yeah, and not just the shape, the taste. It gives it a good taste. What about um, the sauce? Um, Make it from scratch or buy no, it? No, buy the can. I get like the las palmas chili, mm -hmm. and then uh, I put like a can of cream mushroom. Mm -hmm. chicken. You can do both because they got both mixtures now to call this. Ew. <laughs> but I feel like milk nowadays probably has more chemicals than it used to. Yeah. So milk is not actually good for you anymore. Um, no. The way that the human body works is that we only need milk during our like baby stages. That's why like you don't see like pigs or cows drinking milk because they don't need it all until they're done growing. And supposedly, I. Now we drink so much that you're not doing good for drinking. But they say milk too is what makes you break out. It's really? Like, uh, yeah, like that. Like if you are like the type of person that gets little cysts or something like mm -hmm. that, milk is one of the contributors. Too. Wow, and like gluten and things like that, because it's everything. I feel like back in the day, it wasn't like nobody had gluten allergies, and I think that's also because they put so many chemicals and pesticides in the food. Yeah, they do. Like chickens, they you have a full blown chicken, and like in like what is it, a week it grows. <laughs> Did you ever hear the rumor about KFC that they breed this kind of chicken without feathers and without beaks? Yeah, it's really creepy. So remember you guys, after the hand comes out of the lamp, we're going to wait 10 seconds to let the nails finish the polymerization process and then we go in with our so cotton candy cuticle oil. Poor chickens. Yeah, it's crazy. And I hate that because I'm like a really, what do you call it, person when it comes to animals. Mm -hmm. I hate that. I, I can't even see a dog or like, oh, I see a dog dying in the street. And I'm oh, like, that's I'm the like, worst. I'm like, across. <laughs> Doing a little, saying a little prayer for the poor dog. I always do that. I can't. I've always been like that since I was younger when I came to animals. One time I brought home my mom 13 dogs. 13 dogs? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. And that's just for me calling them, trying to give them the wound, trying to bring them home. <laughs> Look at that, my loves. Isn't that beautiful and so fast and easy? And now you know how to snatch up this fantasy. Well, my loves, that's going to wrap up today's little demo. Thanks for coming out, Miss Carmela. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget that 30% off every single 123GO category product. And we will see you guys tomorrow in the next live video. Bye, everyone.